All right, you are welcome again today. Let's continue our lessons on Laplace transform. And in this lesson, we are going to consider the Laplace transform of sine squared t. The Laplace transform of sine squared t. Now let's go. When we say Laplace transform of f of t, by definition, we are saying it is the integral from zero to infinity e raised to the power of minus st f of t dt, right? So now, when we say the Laplace transform of sine squared t, what are we saying? We are saying the integral from zero to infinity e raised to the power of minus st sine squared t dt. Now, let's take a journey to the land of trigonometric identity, okay? Now, in trigonometric identity, when you say sine squared x, plus cos squared x. You know, it's the same thing as saying what? 1, right? Good. When you make sine squared x, the subject is going to give you 1 minus cos squared x, right? Good. And when you make cos squared x, the subject is the same as 1 minus sine squared x, right? Good. Now, let's go. Again, in the same trigonometry, when you have cos x plus y, it's the same as saying cos x, cos y, minus sine x, sine y, right? Good. Now, what if you say cos x plus x? So, in place of y, we are writing x. So, what are you going to have? We are going to say cos x cos x minus sine x sine x, right? Good. You know, cos x plus x is the same as saying cos 2x. So, when you say cos 2x, is the same as saying cos squared x minus sine squared x. Is that true? Good. Now, you know, in this place... We are looking for the value or another value for sine squared t. Okay? And here, let's try and see if we can replace cos squared x with another value, with its equivalent value from trigonometry. So here, we are going to replace cos squared x with its equivalent value. So doing so, we are going to have cos 2x is equal to, in place of cos squared x, now we have 1 minus sine squared x minus sine squared x open this bracket we're going to have cos 2x is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared x is that true yes now let's go let's take one to the other side so when you take one to the other side what are you going to have we're going to have cos 2x minus 1 right is equal to minus 2 sine squared x Let's divide both sides by minus 2 because we are looking for sine squared x. So dividing both sides by minus 2, we are going to have 1 all over 2, open bracket, 1 minus cos 2x. Hello? We are going to have 1 all over 2, open bracket, 1 minus cos 2x. This is the value for sine squared x. Now, when we say the Laplace transform of sine squared t, is the same that means we're going to replace it with this new value is the same as saying the laplace transform of one all over two over bracket one minus cos two t hello is the same as saying the laplace transform of one all over two over bracket one minus cos two t now under linearity property we bring out one all over two that is a constant behind the laplace transform sign right but when we do so, we're going to have 1 over 2 outside the Laplace of 1 minus cos 2t. Okay? Taking the individual Laplace transform, we're going to say 1 over 2 outside the Laplace transform of 1 minus the Laplace transform of cos 2t. Is that true? Yes. Now, let's go. When you take the Laplace transform of 1, it's going to give you 1 over s. And when you take the Laplace transform of cos 2t is going to give you s all over s squared plus 2 squared. Is that true? Good. Now, let's go. Let's combine these values inside the bracket. Let's combine the values inside the bracket. Let's combine it together. You know, when you say 2 squared is the same as saying 4, right? Good. So, when you combine, we're going to look for the LCM. So, when you look for the LCM, LCM is going to give you s, open bracket, s squared plus 4, right? Good. When you combine these together, we're going to have 1 all over 2, open bracket, s squared plus 4, minus, open bracket, we have s squared. 
let's open the bracket in the numerator when you open the bracket in the numerator we have s squared minus s squared is going to give you zero remaining four in the numerator right good so here we have one all over two open bracket four all over s open bracket s squared plus four so the four in the numerator we cancel the two down okay so we are going to have two remaining in a numerator so we are going to have two all over s open bracket s squared plus four therefore the laplace transform of sine squared t is equal to two all over s open bracket s squared plus four